Hey guys, on today's video we're going to be setting up your external hard drive. It's the same thing if you guys have a USB drive, by the way. Anyways, let's just get started. What we have to do is go to Disk Utility. So, on the top right hand side of your screen, you will see this thing right here, Spotlight Search. Under Spotlight Search, I want you guys to look for Disk Utility. And here we go. Now, Disk Utility is something that's built into your Macs, no matter which Mac you guys have. So once you open up Disk Utility, you will see something like this. Now, here's my internal and here's my external. Make sure not to touch any of your internals. Because that, if you guys want actually to mess around with your internal hard drive, then that's another video. And that's a video that's called Restoring Mac to Factory Settings. So that's a whole other ball game, another way to do it. Right now we're messing around with your external hard drive, which is down here below. Now, before we get started, it doesn't really matter what brand you guys have. It could be Seagate, WD, it doesn't really matter. They're just brands and what they usually have inside of them, they're programs that come built into the external hard drive and those are usually not good. They create problems down the road. So that's why I always suggest going for this and just formatting it, which means deleting everything from the external hard drive. So once we format, that's exactly what we're doing. So again, it doesn't really matter which brand you guys have. Let's just go up here on the top left-hand side. We're gonna see this and from here, we have to choose show all devices. Once you do that, you will see that this changed just a little bit. And the reason why I'm showing you this, again, just look into external, do not touch anything in the internal side and select your very first option. From here, we're gonna erase this. So erase is on the top. You guys will see your third option will be erase. Erase will format, Formatting, again, means deleting everything from within the external hard drive. So we're gonna go ahead and erase. Once you click on erase, this is the most important part. So for most of you, all you guys have to pick is XFAT. Once you go into XFAT, just make sure we keep it under this and not master boot record, because later on, if you want to partition it, we won't be able to. So let's just leave it like so for now and just click on erase. For those of you who want this to work with both Mac and PC. And think of it about your external hard drive as being one humongous USB stick. So you can just drag and drop anything into it. And that's how you guys can create your backup. However, there's other ways with Time Machine, for example, that's also built into your Mac, which will create an entire backup for you of everything, including your apps, documents, pictures, everything that you guys have inside your computer without you guys having to drag and drop any information into it, which I will show you next. So right now, for most of you who just want this to be a huge USB stick that's compatible with Mac and PC, you would go ahead, choose XFAT and format it like so. If you don't care about that, if you just want it to work with Mac, just choose this, journaled. Journal is your way to go. A PC will not recognize this. So that's a good and a bad thing. So again, depending what you guys want, just choose the one that you want, like XFAT, PC and Mac, just click on erase and you're pretty much done. It's all set up and you guys can go ahead and use it. So right now, I click here. I'm gonna click on this partition, okay? Which isn't really a partition. I'm gonna see that I have all the space that I want. So eight terabytes, yep. This is eight terabytes. I can go ahead and drag and drop stuff into my external hard drive and I'm done. However, for most of you that want to run Time Machine, which is perfect for backing up your entire computer without you guys having to do anything really, then this is what I'm gonna show you right now. So again, we're gonna go into Erase right here. And in this case, if you guys want the entire external hard drive to be just running with Time Machine, making that huge backup, all we have to do is just go into Journal, which works best. Yes, we could leave it as XFAT and Time Machine will work with XFAT. However, Journal is better when it comes to backing up and not getting any errors down the road. So you would just click on Erase and then set up Time Machine, which I'm gonna show you in a second. But before we do that, just in case you guys don't want the whole external hard drive just to be dedicated, to making that huge backup, we can partition this. So I'm just gonna click on cancel for now and I'm gonna click on this second option where it says partition. And this is the best thing you guys can do with an external hard drive, which is to make a few external hard drives from one external hard drive. 
that's the best way I can think about it when explaining this. Anyways, what I can do right now is just change this to journaled. I'm gonna go ahead and add a plus sign right here. So that means I split up my external hard drive into two parts. If I want this to add another part, I can go ahead and click on that plus sign again and again. So it depends. So right now, it's like having four external hard drives. So I can have this one, that one, and that one. So see this on the side that I just see one? I'm gonna be adding three more. And once you plug it into your Mac or a PC, you would see all those. So it's almost like having those four external hard drives. Now let's say you guys made a mistake, you don't want this, just click on the minus sign and you should be good. Now to move around how much information go, go into each partition, the best way to do that is just by dragging these guys right here and making that partition. So if I want this partition to be about there, Maybe I want this one to be a little smaller, or maybe this one to be a little more. Then there we go. I can mess around with all my partitions that way. I find that moving these guys around in order to make your partition bigger or smaller, it's much better than actually putting the size right here because you guys can type in the size that you want right here. However, that could be not as accurate. So it's better just to move this around in order to make one partition bigger than the other. What I'm gonna do, for example, is make this partition journal because I want this to be time machine. So I'm just gonna name it time machine. You guys can name it anything you guys want. I just recommend if you're gonna use time machine to back up your entire computer, then that's the way to go. And that should be the biggest part of your computer. By the way, if you don't know how big to make this, well just think about how many files you guys have. So if you guys have 100 gigs of files, um, then you need at least 200 gigs to be in your time machine. Because that way you guys have enough space in order to back up not just the files, but everything else, your apps, and just make a good backup out of all of them. So I'm gonna leave that one as is. I'm gonna click away. I'm gonna name this one PC. And I'm gonna make this one compatible with Mac and PC. So I'm gonna leave it at XFAT. And then this one right here, I'm just gonna name it Mac. So this is just for any files that I want to transfer between Macs. You don't really have to do this, it's just an example. We can always get rid of this. I would find that for most of you, you won't even need these two, three partitions. Most of you just want two partitions. I'm gonna take this one out and I'm gonna leave Time Machine as my biggest one. And PC right here, I'm gonna make sure it's XFAT, so that means I can transfer files between Mac and PC. However, Time Machine, I'm gonna leave it as journaled. That's just working with Mac, and it works the best, I find, with Time Machine. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this. I'm gonna click on Partition. So right now that I messed around with it a little bit too much, you might come up with an error. <laughs> so don't mess around with it too much because then you might have to erase it again and that's okay so if you guys get any type of error that just means that you guys moved around the partitioning took out too many partitions put in too many partitions maybe um, and just did too much of that so you might have to erase it again and then go back and partition it again and this time don't mess around with it as much as I did for example again I do get that comment asking me always how big should I make my time machine backup well again it depends how many files you guys have and how big your hard drive is. So if you want to back up your entire Mac and you guys have 200 gigs of files, then your time machine should be about 400 gigs, for example. So again, it's about the double. That would be my minimum recommendation. So we're just gonna click on that for now. And as you guys can see right here, I have time machine and PC. So at this point in time, if I go into Finder, so I'm just gonna go down here, open up Finder down here below. And I'm gonna see on the side, I'm gonna see locations. And right here, I should see Time Machine and PC. Don't mind these other things right here. Time Machine and PC, that's my external hard drive. So although it looks like two separate external hard drives, it's only one. So under PC, if I click on it, it's gonna be empty. And I can drag and drop any files into PC. So that I can use like, a USB stick. However, my time machine, so I'm just gonna click on my time machine, I'm gonna set that up right now so you guys can see. So what I need to do is go into system preferences. That I have down here, however you don't see it, just go into your spotlight search and look for system preferences. Just like I showed you how to look for disk utility, that's what you would do in order to look for system preferences. Once you're in system preferences, again, time machine something built into your Mac, so we're gonna click right down here below, we're gonna see time machine, 
And something that I want you guys to click right away is this show time machine in menu bar. This is very important actually. So just make sure you have a check mark right there. At this point in time, I already have time machine backups from before. However, since for most of you, this is gonna be your first time, you're only gonna see this, add or remove backup disk. So let's go ahead and click on add or remove backup disk and available disks. So you guys should see these right here. Here's my PC and here's time machine. So I'm gonna click on my time machine I'm gonna use disk and see this right here. Now this is up to you guys. You guys can make it back up automatically or you guys can hit on back up yourselves. So it depends when you guys want to back it up. You guys could have your external hard drive always hooked up to your computer and just leave this on and it's gonna back up automatically or you guys can take this off and just back it up yourselves. Even if you guys have the backup automatically on, and that's the reason why I told you to show time machine in menu bar, because up here is our menu bar. So on the top right hand side, you will see this type of clock type of thing. Just click on it and we're gonna see this, enter time machine and open time machine preferences plus backup now. Just click on backup now and it's gonna start making that backup. It can take a very long time to make our very first backup because Time Machine itself will back up everything from your Mac. So depending how big it is, it's gonna take some time. So you don't need to have your external hard drive always hooked up to your computer. You could just hook it up when you want Time Machine to do its backup. You can manually make the backup like I showed you. And again, Time Machine is the best way to keep your backups. And I do have another video showing you everything about Time Machine and what it is. That's a whole separate video. I'm showing you how to manage Time Machine. Uh, let's say you guys deleted a file a week ago and uh, you want it back today. Well, with Time Machine, you can actually go back and retrieve that file from your backup. So that's the good thing about Time Machine. It works like that. Or if your Mac crashes, well, don't worry about it. If you guys have Time Machine, you can just hook up your external hard drive to your new Mac, for example, and just load up everything that you guys had in this previous Mac. So again, I do have a separate video showing you guys how to transfer over all your information from one Mac to a new Mac using Time Machine, because that's the best way. Anyways, that would be it for this video. Again, I do have specific videos in here in my channel showing you guys more about Time Machine or showing you more about external hard drives but this is your basics to get you set up with your external hard drive. Again, it doesn't really matter what brand you guys have. Usually the content that's already inside your external hard drive is no good. The software isn't always working and there's glitches throughout. So this is the best way in order to set up any external hard drive. Anyways, that would be it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.